All right, now that we have the Scribble toolbar added to our Chromebooks, we're ready to do a little bit of research and see how this thing works. So we are going to start off in Utah's online library. And to get there, I'm going to the Orion website, clicking on library, heading to research, and then Utah's online library. We're going to click into middle schools. And remember the two main ones are EBSCO Middle Schools and Gale and Context Middle School. You can pick whichever one you want. I'm going to do EBSCO just so that I can remind you that when you do EBSCO, you also have to click Middle Search Plus to get to your toolbar. All right, so once I'm in here, let's do our search again. We're going to stick with Abraham Lincoln. And here we are. I've got these search results I can choose from. I'm just going to scroll down and randomly click on something. Let's do this. Lincoln walks a tightrope. I'm going to click on that. So I've got this article right here. I can read. And if I look at it and think this is perfect for my assignment, I want to make sure that I remember this. That's when I hit my scribble toolbar icon. It's right up there at the top of the screen by our puzzle piece. We're going to click on that toolbar click sign in the first time. And then this gray toolbar is going to pop up along the top and the right hand side of your screen. So I'm going to go really quickly over all of these features and just show you what it can do. So this green check mark means that this article has been saved in your Scribble library, which is awesome. Now, if I need to annotate, which means to mark up my article with my own thoughts or ideas or questions that I may have, I'm going to use some of these tools. So using this toolbar is kind of like grabbing a tool. Once I click on it, now my cursor becomes that tool. And then when I use it um, and I'm finished with it, I can go ahead and click on it to put it back in the toolbar. So I click to grab it use it and then click to put it back. I can also change the color of whatever I'm using up here as well. So that was a highlighter. You can do that. Um, I could also make comments if I have things that I want to remind myself of later and I can highlight something. And once I type in my thoughts, I have a little comment up here and I can go put that back because I don't need it anymore. I can change the color of the text if I want to. I can underline. If I do something and wish that I hadn't done it, I can just hit that undo button right there. After I've done some annotations and this starts to look messy, I can click on that eyeball and it hides all the things that I've been doing, but I just click it and it comes back. I can click on this ear to have it read this the part that I'm on or translate it. And if there's any words that I don't know, I can also use the dictionary. So if I don't know this word, I can highlight it. I can use a dictionary. I can translate it, or I can just have it play so that I know how to say that word. So once I'm done making my notes here, I can close out that article and go back to Utah's online library and find another article. This time I'm going to go to Gale. And I will choose a news article this time. And here we go. So again, I found an article that I'm interested in looking into. I'm going to go up to my toolbar, click on the scribble toolbar. This time I won't need to sign in because it already knows we're here ready to go. It's already saved into my library. I can go through and mark it up with things that I want to remember or questions that I might have. And when I'm done with that, here's where the real magic happens. I'm going to go click on this scribble right here at the top. It will take me to the scribble homepage. I'm going to click sign in. Remember, we always sign in with Google if it asks. And here are the two articles that we were just looking at. So it tells me which articles they are. That is awesome because now when I'm ready to make my project, I don't have to go back to Utah's online library and try to remember where I was looking and how to search for it and find that article again. It's right here as the really fancy bookmark and I can use these things over here to this one will 
send me to that article again. So if I click that little box with the arrow popping out of it, it's going to take me right back to Gale in context. And there's that article again. The last thing I want to show you in this video, though, is the annotations. If you click up here where it says annotations, you're going to be able to see the things. These are the two highlights that I made. Here's my little note that I made to myself. And if I need to go back to that article again, I can click that and head back to the article in question.